Hey guys, welcome back from Pixel Insane again for a new release material. Today's material for free, as usual, is going to be a snow material. I made a poll, but nobody really took part on it, so I'm deciding it's going to be the snow material. As you can see here, I got my scene. Uh, this, by the way, was a submission for a contest that I didn't win, oh. unfortunately, but I find it super cool. Um, it's my usual Spider-Man made out of glass and gold. The really cool part that I created on this one is the three logos, you know, the respective, you know, Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, and Tom Holland uh, Spider-Man logos. I really love that, especially how they look as snow. Um, here is uh, the final render, by the way, that I submitted. Um, I used some assets here and there because I'm a lazy modeler. <laughs> I can model, but I'm a little bit lazy. Like today, I, I didn't want to use two cameras again, so you will see some reuse footage for um for the thing because I, i'm busy today so i need to kind of speed it up but enough talking so let's see this material in action brand new seat in blender with my usual fire hydrant logo yep i know boring i'll change it maybe we'll see we'll see i'm gonna go for my materials and the snow is right there i know for sure that this object right there in the viewport doesn't have the adaptive division and it doesn't really work well with displacement so I'm going to delete it so I'm going to select it and delete it from the keyboard with the delete button not with the X button check my video right here in the card just to see what I'm talking about so I'm going to delete that my logo as well shift a create a mesh icosphere set it to 4 move it up in the Z axis and then right click shade smooth and add a modifier subdivision surface adapt the subdivision on set it to three and add my snow material and then i'm going to click render and here we have it we have a really really cool snow material right there let's let it render for a bit but that's pretty much what it is um if you want to see it a little more in details i'm gonna make a quick render for you one hour later all right render is done after 53 seconds i know it's pretty big but uh you know it's very detailed and all so it looks really really cool i'm gonna show you the note setup on this one so i'm gonna select it i'm gonna go back to view per shading uh, i'm going to the shading tab and let's see it it's pretty much that it's not that difficult there is only like a noise texture another noise texture two displacement notes i'm having a hard time saying displacement notes two displacement bump two display two display two displacement two displacement two displacement notes but yeah that's what it is <laughs> two displacement notes i said it a color ramp for the color obviously um the two noise texture are connected to a displacement node they're driving two layers of bump one it's really small and one it's a little bit bigger but it's really really easy um how did i make this one i follow the tutorial so you know that this is, doesn't come up out of thin air i follow some tutorials and this is my plan to releasing free materials so you don't have to do what i did you know going through the hassle of making it if you're busy you have to go through your project very quick like i did with my snow project with the with the spider-man and and then that was it but before we play around with the material itself let's see how you can download it for free and install it link in the description down below for my website all you have to do is click on products or free material and it will take you right there I'm already a member of my own website, so I'm going to log in instead of sign up. But if you are not a member of my website, you just sign up with the Facebook, Google or your email. This is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to log in with my email and voila, you will be directed to the material download page for free. You can also check the other ones right there. You know, link in the description down below. There is a playlist to download all the others. And remember, it's really appreciated from you guys, a comment, especially a comment, because it's going to make my videos more easy to find. So there we have it. What we're going to do, click download on the snow, download into the desktop. We can close this. Perfect. We go to the desktop and unzip it. So yeah, you don't need to open a new file, but you can just go to open, go to the desktop, search for snow, and there we go. Open the file and voila let's add an hdri just to preview the material a little better and go to the layout and press render right there and here we have it you can see the node is still the same one of course it's going to take ages to render in the viewport but that's what it is 
So that's how you're going to open the file itself. But now let's see how can you append the file in, a, in an existing scene. To append the file in your scene is the same as usual. File, append, or I have a shortcut. Go to the desktop, snow, click the snow, and then looking for the material and voila, even a preview. So click it. I'm just gonna create another icosphere, bring it right there, you know, uh, the usual setting up a subdivision surface modifier set it to three and then click render and nothing happens because we need to apply the material <laughs> from the drop down menu boom and here we have the snow material right there and i hope you enjoyed it and please do like and comment down below subscribe and be a member of my website so i can make more video like this and release more free materials also make sure you check the cards along the video to see some animations and cool animation done in Blender. I really, really appreciate, especially the last one that I've done with the Spider-Man and the small one. It was really fun to make. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.